I want to just ask you, is there also an idda for the man? Yes, of course. Mm. When? You tell me. Um, <laughs> in, if in case that he was married to four women and he divorced one of them, yeah. he's not allowed to take another wife so long as he's still in the idda. Because yeah. during the idda, yeah. he may take her back. What about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, troublemaker. <laughs> De devil's advocate, as you say. What about if he divorced her for the third time? Oh, for the third time, that's irrevocable. Okay, I'm talking about during yeah. the revocable divorce. But I mean, would this still be an idda? No. No, okay. No. Because he cannot marry her anymore. Yes. He cannot take her back, I mean. Yes. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, made a very interesting remark when some of his companions, mm. out of love to him, they wanted to be with him in the same level in paradise. So mm. he started visiting his wives and inquiring about what kind of worship that he does and, uh, um, and so on. So when they figured out, they decided to do something in order to be with him in the same level in paradise. So most of us know the hadith, but it has different narrations. Like one of them decided and he made a vow. He said, mm. you know, in order to draw closer to Allah, I will never marry. I will never marry. Why? Because marriage will t consume a lot of mm. my time with my wife, with the kids. I want to devote all my time for Allah, for worship. I want to be a devout worshiper. Uh, another person decided not to sleep on bed. And the third person decided not to eat meat, mm. to, to be a vegetarian. And uh, uh, another person decided to fast on every single day. Uh, another one decided to pray on every single night and not to sleep whatsoever during the night. Mm. So when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, uh, heard about that, he gathered his companions and he said, What is wrong with some people who mm. vowed not to do this and to do that? And then he corrected them, beginning mm. by saying that, Indeed, I am the most God-fearing of all of you. Mm and the most knowledgeable of all of you because he receives a wahi from Allah. Mm. So he reminded them that the Prophet وسلم, knows best about Allah more than any of them and knows what will draw them nearer to Allah than what they think themselves. He said, yet, I fast and I break my fast. I do not fast on every single day. I mm. skip some days. Mondays, Thursdays, 13th, 14th, and 15th of every month, and so on. And I pray at night, and I also rest. Mm. I do not pray for the whole night. And I'm married. So whoever turns away from my sunnah, this is my way, mm. and this is our religion. Whoever mm. rejects that, whoever decides otherwise, فَلَيْسَ minni then he doesn't belong to me. This is very serious. SubhanAllah. So, look, we said it could be permissible. Mm. It could be recommended or wajib or disliked or haram. But you do not make the permissible haram like mm. you say, you know, uh, mm. I forbid myself from getting married.